So 20 something years ago, Beth and I arrived here as brand new missionaries and this is the first place we stayed. And uh, not too long after being here, we began to hear about this idea or vision that this building could be transformed. It could be used uh, for things uh, both here in Taiwan and then of course outside Taiwan in missions. And we've seen so many people use this space as a transition, whether it's to permanent housing or to prepare to go on a home service, um, even to prepare to send out Taiwanese missionaries. The Sin Taiwan property has been a huge blessing for us, uh, especially in helping us to transition here to Taiwan. To have a space where our team can come together in our own space to be able to pray together and lift each other up in prayer has been a huge blessing. Sixties, uh, send missionaries at that time they were Far Eastern Gospel Crusade missionaries they opened up a new field in Taiwan and it wasn't that long I think it was in the 70s when those missionaries realized they were in all different places trying to do ministry um, in a new culture and challenges they wanted to be able to meet together to pray together to talk about the ministry encourage one another and so they really want to have a place to do that it was in the very very late 70s around 1980 something like that where they found the property that we're currently in and so they bought the property and I think by 82 God had provided the money for them to build our current mission center my parents are not Christians we used to have uh, Christmas or Thanksgiving luncheons and my parents were invited so when they come to this property, they could hear some Bible teachings or some testimonies from our missionaries, which is great, and which they don't hear from any other places. So I'm grateful for that. And I believe those uh, testimonies will become the seed that God will plant in their hearts. And I really hope one day they will all believe in Jesus. Uh, 第一次来到台湾落脚的地方这个办公室的改建已经规划十几年让他们很舒适 So that served us now for almost 40 years In the 90s, believe they did a renovation and they added furniture and custom built in uh, cabinetry and they tried to make it a little more comfortable and a little more useful but really for again the decades it's been uh, on people's hearts and minds to do a renovation. I just want to say an extended thank you to our fellow missionaries and colleagues and our local staff who went above and beyond. It's been just amazing to see the flexibility of our staff and the way that they've really served the community by helping this project come to completion. Mm -hmm. We're grateful that um, there have been many missionaries and many Taiwanese friends that have gone before us, they've planted the seeds uh, for this mm -hmm. project, for this idea of, of reaching Taiwan and reaching beyond Taiwan. Mm -hmm. So we're thankful for them. We want to especially thank um, our retired missionaries, our, our former SEND missionaries, those that invested a lot of time, energy, and even resources into this, this plan. Many donors over these 20 years that have given to this project, and uh, we're happy to report that the project is finished. 
uh, with your donations. And so we're, we're grateful for that, whether you gave 10 years ago or whether you gave recently, we are, th we are thankful and we are excited to show you some of the pictures and some of the things that your investments have done. Thank you so much.